Hey everyone, this is Raiko. Today we're going to play one more uh, episode, let's say, of uh, Fantasy Star Online Episode 3, Card Revolution. So we started it yesterday, um, the Hunter's story side. So we're going to continue today. We left it off still at around the beginning part, so nothing much story-wise has happened yet. We're basically just introduced to the three main characters, Kranz, uh, Silver, and uh, Inolis, of course. And we just uh, got three more party members. Actually, let me just reconnect my headset, because it's doing some strange static noise from time to time. I'll be right back. That's better now, and microphone still works, because microphone is connected to my headset. So gotta check that out too. Yep, seems... seems fine. Volumes seem fine as well. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, so last time we completed the quest and then we just talked to Pentaglass and Karen. Let me just double check with, if I uh, exhausted all the conversations with Karen and Pentaglass, but I think that should have happened already. Oh yes, he asked us to do homework for his son. No one will know about it, but it will help us uh, practice that car slinging technology, I guess. So, good enough. Let's meet the new members, though. You must be Aika. My name is Teifu. I have been in the service of Lady Viviana for more than 10 years. That's a lot. I've only just began to learn how to fight. So, my ability on the battlefield, well, all I can say is... It's almost as if I have none at all. <laughs> it's actually true, like, he's not... A very uh, strong character. I think he got buffed. Which means that the plus, this plus mod should have the, the buffs. As a result, if possible, I request that you do not deploy me on any assignments. Okay, just, just like that. Having me stay here would be the best for you just as much it would be for me. I do truly hope you understand my request. Yeah, sure, I guess. Hey Silver, how are you doing? Oh, Aika! I'm sorry, I was just pacing out a little. Huh? Well, um, you know my sister, the person I've been looking for. Her name is... So I don't know if it's Sophia or Sof Sophia. Let's just call it Sophia. So her name is Sophia, it seems. So basically, this is the, the call-out to the uh, cutscene from yesterday, where we met Brake talking about her sister. I wonder if I look anything like her. That what you're wondering about? <laughs> Before I ended up here, I was injured and ended up in the hospital. My injuries were pretty severe. So while I still have fairly distinct memories of my childhood, I barely remember a thing from around when I was injured. It's all kind of a blur. I only remember when, how my sister looked back when I was a child. Oh, I see. I have this photo of her that was left behind, and that's pretty much all I have to go on in my search. I I just have this feeling that I've got to find her. I don't know why I feel that way, but I do. My memory is gone, but this feeling is still there in my chest. My injuries? Well, I'm fine now, they're all healed. I don't know all the particulars, but I wasn't seriously hurt from a physical standpoint. Instead, I received a major emotional shock. They said my memory will come back gradually over a long period of time. I was in re rehabilitation for a while, but I had to go find my sister. So I left early. Oh, this feeling in my chest. I just won't go away. So if you feel like she has uh, too big a chest, just bear in mind that uh, this game was on uh, GameCube, where 
you didn't have HD. So you kind of had to exaggerate some uh, proportions there if you wanted them to be more visible in the actual uh, in your actual screen. Might, might be a lame excuse, but uh, just bear that in mind. Because it does look kind of ridiculous here with the with the HD uh, graphics. Hello, my name is Kilria. You're my commander, right? Nice to meet you. I actually like Kilria a lot. Riflery is my specialty, of course, but when it comes to techniques, I can do just about everything. Cool. I used to be stationed with different hunters' guilds. I got transferred over here, though, because you needed more people. Are you guys really in that much trouble, though? Hey, go easy on me, okay? I took a look at our next mission, but is this all we've got? I mean, helping with some kid out with this homework. Heh, <laughs> you guys have it easy here. And I don't mind it one bit, Commander. She's really cool. Quite the waifu material, I would say. Okay, now we have Viviana as the last one. Yahoo! You're our commander, right? Well, am I right? Who I am? I could tell right off from one glance. Oh, I'm sorry. I never told you my name, I'm Viviana. I'm an intern from the Hunter Training Center, the HTC. But don't treat me like some idiot, okay? I'm not just a rookie, I have the skills. Almost nobody could beat me in the HTC simulations we had. Nobody except for Memoru, th that is. Oh, don't worry about it, I'm just talking to myself. Anyway, I've got a little favor to ask. So yeah, Memoru was... I mean, is... The, uh, one of the arcs uh, characters that we'll meet soon. And that we can play as as well in the arc story. What a little favor to ask. There's this certain place I'd like to go to. So, would you mind giving me some deployment orders right away? Thanks. Okay, so this is one of those quests that you unlock by talking to people. And I'm pretty sure we're actually gonna meet Memoru herself in this mission. My destination is the Tower of Kaelum. Kaelum? Kaelum? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. It's a very special spot to me. I haven't been over there lately. But something reminded me of it just recently. So I figured if the right mission came along, you know. I guess I'm being a little selfish, aren't I? Oh, but I shouldn't worry. You're a nice commander after all. Aren't you? <laughs> no pressure. Yeah, so these missions, you can only take the characters that asked you for the mission. So I most likely you will only be able to take Vivian on that mission. And that's, that's okay. But yeah, I think that's all of the characters that are currently here. So we don't have Kranz or Enolis here. Not all of them are uh, available with the dialogues all the time, necessarily. What about you? Do you have some missions for me? Karen, the chief's assistant, might have told you this already. But you got a mission from a lady named Monica. She says that she's looking for a shop that sells the most delicious food. She wants to eat this food, so she wants us to find the shop. Is it the one for the Naura sisters? <laughs> she's in some kind of rush or something, so we have to be quick. But I guess the chief's mission is pretty urgent too. Huh? I mean, the one with the... The homework? Really? So which one are you gonna take? Oh yeah, it's here where I need to... Ah yeah, I forgot about this. Uh... Strangely enough, uh, you need to make a decision early in the game. This is the place where you, you take the decision. So you can uh, either do one of... There's like two main quests right now, you can only do one of them. And the one you do decides actually... Uh... A cadence of quests from then on. So you either go one path or you go another path. And you cannot go back on your decision. It's kind of a weird thing, but it is what it is. Just give me a moment, I'll be right back. There seems to be something wrong in my phone. Just a uh, minute. Sorry about that. Because I kind of use my phone to uh, check my stream from time to time, and 
it just decides to act up all of a sudden <laughs> from time to time as well. Probably it's that update that I keep projecting all the time, maybe. Okay, it seems fine now. Uh, yeah, so as I was saying, I need to pick a choice right now. So let me just check a quick guide. I have the tab right here, so you won't be waiting much, don't worry. <clears throat> so there's the assignment route, or route, and the shop route. So the assignment route is the homework help. The shop route is the phantom shop that I just unlocked. Um, let's see. Basically, my my concern here is which one leads to more to higher number of cinematics. Because I guess you're necessarily locked out of some cinematics depending on which route you take, unfortunately. So it feels like if I take the homework one, I will have one exclusive cinematic. If I take the, the shop one, I will have two cinematics. Uh, so because of that, I think I might take the shop one. Feels like the cinematic I'm missing for the homework one is kind of relevant though, but I can't have it all, so... Uh, let's go for the shop, but first let's do the chance meeting. We also unlocked that one earlier with uh, Viviana. Yeah, today it's gonna be a shorter stream as well, so... Uh, probably just gonna do these two quests instead of the four or five that I did uh, yesterday. We need a deck for Viviana though. Uh, so let's... Uh, probably gonna be something similar to... Uh, what we had for uh, Enolius. Uh, yeah, so let me just show uh, what she does. So basically compared to Enolius, <laughs> I guess her stats are exactly the same. However, instead of uh, using less points to do techniques, she has the bonus CP rise. This means that when she levels up in, during the battle, her TP actually is uh, increases more and more. This character temporarily gain, gains TP equal to your team's dice bonus. <coughs> Since the game rounds down, I guess leveling one time doesn't really do much. You need to kind of level two times to get the bonus. Because one time is 1.5, it's 1.5 that then rounds down to one. Unfortunately, <laughs> so unless it's also applied to the technique, I'm I'm not sure. It says this character. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I never really liked this character too much, to be honest, because it feels like Noise is just a better force. But we gotta play with her now. Okay, so we're gonna put all the techniques. Maybe I'll even put grants. Uh, it's just gonna deal three damage to something. It's not really amazing or anything. Hmm. We don't have many techniques yet, unfortunately. Yeah, we can put grants. I've never used that, so it might be fun to, to see how it works. I mean, to see how it animates, I should say. Okay, so I need 14 more cards, I believe. Maybe let's go over to the... Uh, items? You can pick Durandal, sure. We could get items that allow us to uh, steal experience, but I don't know if I have any of those. Doesn't seem like I do.
Yep, I don't think I do. So we had some assist card, but I don't think it's worth it. It's a shuffle one. It costs two even. Nah, that's too much. Hmm. Okay, put the slash, why not? To get some uh, different range. Can't even put two of them. I'm sure I'll be doing many more decks for Vienna, so we can skip that name. And let's go right into it. <coughs> yeah, so basically we're still at, uh, at uh, in the part of the story where we're still trying to understand what the Arx is actually trying to do. And we're following just some basic quests from the principal government, I guess. So first we do the chance meeting one. An anomaly has been discovered in the transport systems at the Tower of Kalem. We don't think it's a real malfunction, but we'd like oops, we'd like you to investigate anyway. It's gonna be against no more, isn't it? Okay, so no more dice roll minimum of three. It's actually now the the real uh, league now. And yes, it is Memoro, <laughs> the the opponent. Not surprisingly. I've been thinking a bit about some things that ha happened to me long ago. The Tower of Kalem has special meaning for me. I want to go there, even if it's just on an assignment. I know it's selfish, but can you let me go? Viviana. It's also... It actually also has a special meaning to me, because it's probably the map that has the, the best song in the game for me. Well, except maybe for the final boss song. But You'll know the final boss song if you played Finister Online 2, by the way, since <laughs> this song appeared there in a very iconic fight, in a very climatic fight, I should say. BV, oh no, I don't want to see the likes of her face. <laughs> yeah, they have some uh, beef going on between them. Sounds like a, oh, I was actually gonna say wanted to keep the hand, but oops, it's okay. This is also not a bad hand. Oh, yeah. Now we don't have minimum, so I guess we have higher chances of getting three or lower. I think I'll equip those two, just because it's better to have more item items equipped at first. I think. Durandal doesn't really do much for me anyway, right now. You can't really defend, we only have one defense point, so let's just uh, throw all of that out. Oh, we got grants. <laughs> if I get six attack points, I guess, uh, next turn, I guess I can use that technique. Oh, right in front of me, huh? Yeah, I'm being attacked already. Not much I can do, I don't have any defense card that can be used here. Oh yeah, I managed to fix those graphical glitches, both here and on the opening intro, fortunately. Just had to tweak something in the emulator. I did get the six attack points. I just feel like it's kind of a waste to use <laughs> right now. Let's just equip stuff. So I have three points, I can only go up to eight. Uh, yeah, sure. I really like this song. It's actually my morning uh, clock alarm, <laughs> to be honest, for quite a while, for years now. 
Okay, so five, six, seven, eight. So I have full uh, equipment. Since it's gonna be a physical attack, let's uh, pick the one with more AP. Yes, there. Wait. It's STP power, so it will be one third of two, but one third of two runs down to. nothing? <laughs> I think it's. Yeah, I think it's nothing. I would need to have level 2, uh, yeah, never mind. It's the same as a Durandal, but it's still good enough. Oh wait, the graphical glitches are still there actually, in, the, in those places, oops. I thought I fixed those, but at least fix in the, in the intro, that's for sure. I guess I gotta check these ones out. Uh, I may actually check during the stream. I just need uh, the game to stop during the, the, that point in time. Let's keep going and I will... I'll see later. Okay, let's just remove grants. It's not really helping right now. When I have uh, level 2, I'll do a bit more damage. I'll have uh, 3 TP instead of 1 and then it will actually matter quite a bit more. Right now it does not. Defense. Oh. Physical attack, huh? <laughs> I think this might be one of the worst characters to be doing physical attack with, along with another character called... Uh, what's her name? I forget what's her name. Hmm. Don't remember. I even drew her and I have it on, and I have her on my Divine Tarn, but I forgot the name. Anyway. Um, so this is a story character slayer weapon. So I actually should attack uh, should do physical attack. I mean I could do a TP attack, I think it also counts. Not sure actually. But what we're gonna do is... Let's see... Attack on her... Attack the Canadian... And then... Defense. With the Durandal. Maybe I could have killed her if I went all out on her, I don't know. No, no, no. Right? No. I don't think that two damage should have made a difference at all. Nope. How <laughs> did I let that pig hurt me like this? Oh man, pig. That's, that's harsh. Let's trust he's not going to use Techniques and throw that out, because that's the only defense card that actually reduces damage from Techniques. Did he deal two damage before? Change, Not sure. Set. I think might be over here to be honest. Alright, I can do two techniques here. I think I'll try to do it with uh, the see if it actually does anything. She has nine uh, health, so let's see, four plus six. De she's definitely dead, I would say. Hmm. Let's just lure a physical attack. 
lure defense card and physical attack. And then do that. So if the Durandal deals 7 damage, it means that it counts. It does count. So the story character slayer ability actually also counts with the techniques. Which is good to know. Okay, that was not hard at all. Let's start with the first spec, we're just gonna go through all of them in order. Action. Again. <clears throat> new card, Hail the Blue. Another new card, uh, SH Tech, I forget what that stands for. Another Grant, okay. Chill. Golgus Q, okay. That's not gonna be usable for us right now. It's only for the Arcs team. Okay. Nether Nether, Jesus. There's something wrong. I'm just getting Nethers a lot. This is definitely a, a good... What does this stand for though? It's Sage Attack. Pretty sure I should know what this means, but... I don't remember. Okay, cool. Good to have the, the new techniques, I mean, I mean the the new copies of existing techniques. Hold on a minute, why the heck was Memora there? Now I'm remembering things I'd rather forget. She hasn't changed a single bit. Oh how can't I... Oh how I can stand her. And how could she go and join the Arcs? How could she? Ugh. She's always making people worry about her like this. Viviana. Yeah, I mean, I guess she has her own agenda. <coughs> it is what it is. And I forgot to check the graphical glitch. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to remember it on the next... Uh, on the next match. Okay, so this was just uh, like a side one, so we're not going to progress anything by doing that. She's also not going to... Actually, she might have even disappeared after the quest. Yeah, I think she's not even here anymore, because we did the, the quest that she requested. So now we're going to go do uh, another quest. Let me just see if there's any uh, cutscenes in any of these. I don't think so, nope. And we're going to use Kilria, so I'm going to actually uh, build a deck for her as well. Let me just go ahead and edit in all his deck to actually add a few more uh, techniques. I can't remember what SH is supposed to mean. I feel like I should know. Anyway. Okay, we've got more techniques in here, so it means we can just remove... Uh, other useless cards like I guess assault, attack, and long arm. Yeah, sure, sounds sounds good. Now we're going to uh, <coughs> actually grants with the knowledge is is not that crazy because she actually can use it for one one last point, but just one though. So I'd, I would need to remove uh, something else. I think we're removing the gun. Yeah, the gun. Or the barrier, actually. Yeah, something like that. <coughs> okay, now let's create a deck for Kilria. My favorite waifu in this entire game. So as compared to Krantz, she's also a ranger, but she does not really have any 
TP, so her techniques are actually weaker, but she can still use them if it comes to that. However, her AP is uh, higher than Kranz's. And then, where Kranz has fixed, ra fixed range and XP bonus, she has nothing. <laughs> so she basically benefits mostly from uh, well higher HP as well, but that's just a 1 HP difference. It's just higher base attack, which is kind of relevant if you think about it. It sounds not very good, but I mean it adds up to every single attack she does. Let's just check all the types so I can add everything from the get-go. Yeah, let's put all the guns, I guess, all the good ones at least. Unfortunately, she does not have the fixed range uh, ability, which would be very good to have, but not can you do it. Too many items. Let's put some uh, defense cards now. I don't think I want to take techniques. She's not that good with them. Yeah, I don't think so. We can put the text. We can chain a uh, few cards together if we need to. Salt doesn't work as I expected, it, so I think uh... <clears throat> it feels like it's just good if you have like uh, one card on the field only. Five minus the number of cards you have on the field. So you could get like what four at maximum? That's not amazing. Because you always have to have at least one card on the field. I mean, not necessarily, but still. Mm. I feel like this text doesn't really match very well with the... <laughs> they usually call them uh, like field characters or something, and it just says cards on the field. I guess it was clearly uh, done by someone else other than the normal, the, the, the original team, but anyway. What else would we add here? Guess we can equip Partisan. It's a high cost slayer, it can come in handy. I have so many items though. Wait. I can reduce one there. <coughs> Maybe one partisan is enough. Mechan is enough. Guess we just add more stuff here. Mm. Alright, long arm, whatever. I guess we can just put the, the assist card. Maybe I can show it for for the first time. Okay, we're just gonna call her waifu because that's basically what she is. <laughs> and we might just uh, later do waifu two two point zero, three point zero, and so on and so forth. Okay, so here I'm going to do the shop quest, because I want to actually follow that line. So we'd have this one from Lab Chief. In order for my son to get the top score on, my, on, his, home, on his homework assignment in his class, I need you to go down to the surface and retrieve some coral from Tanner sin Sinus. I've heard the rumors of our activity in the area, so be extra careful that the coral doesn't get broken. <laughs> okay. That's what you want me to be careful of. 
And another one from Monica. I'm looking for a certain food somewhere. There's a famous old shop that sells this yummy treat. I read, I read on the net that the shop staff goes to via tubus every week at this time to gather the food ingredients. I simply must have it. Please find the staff and buy this food for me. Oh, this one is 2v2 as well. Was the other one also 2v2? No, the other one was just 1v1. So I guess even this quest is even more interesting. So we're gonna go for uh, we're gonna go with Waifu alongside Inolis against Break and Lure. We already saw those two characters. Do you know about the rumor site called Net5? This week's story was amazing. They say, ah, I'm sorry, I'm getting off topic now. The truth is, my mother is very sick. I'd like to give her a chance to finally eat this food while she still can. I realize it's a personal request, but I really appreciate your help. That scrolling there is kind of weird. It feels like uh, a Japanese uh, text wouldn't have a scrolling bar there. <laughs> Okay, this is going to be more exciting, because we actually uh, have a 2v2 here. Just want to have something tasty to eat, that's all. Wait, was she her? W was she the one who wanted... <laughs> is it a coincidence or intentional, I wonder? Break, how should we deal with these people? Well, we're just gonna hit each other as usual, until one of them backs off. Until one of the teams backs off. I'm good with this hand, thank you. So they got first... Uh, first turn. Oh, we got a big one now. So in this situation, they're both summoning the, the, their own creatures, so... These creatures might belong to either one, the, one character or the other. You can't see up there which character has which creatures. Change, nice. I'll let uh, Inolis uh, summon first, or use her cards first. Yes, she's done. She still has two attack points, so she might uh, advance and attack one. I think we want AoE against all these creatures, so I'm gonna equip the shot. And. Probably that one too. Yeah. And I'll try to leave those points to attack. Oh, she really got in right in front of the, the bear, huh? <laughs> Alright. You take point, I guess. If she dies, I actually lose, so I gotta be careful about that. Defense. <laughs> oh, native guard. Nolis didn't do anything though. This is all LA okay, so I can actually use this to protect Nolis if I have to. Let's see, I have four points, I can equip all the other ones, so yeah, I'll just keep everything. Change. I'm a bit concerned about the bear attacking Nolis head on. Oh, what the? Defense. I'm actually being attacked here. Alright, I should stop here and... Uh... Well, too late. <laughs> Wanted to resolve the graphical glitch somehow. Set. There's a lot of points I got. So I got two, four, six, seven. And eight, we have a full, uh, full equipment. Man, she really wants to go to the bear, doesn't she? Um, I have the high cost slayer. Pretty sure the bear is a high cost. It needs to cost four or more, and it does cost four. So I'm just gonna go over there Action. and attack with the, the partisan. Mm -hmm. 
Seven damage, nice. That's a lot of damage. I think we want defense cards here as much as possible. I actually put myself in a position where the bear can attack both me and the noise at the exact same time. Since he has the partisan range. Oof, that's kinda rough. Uh, I think I'm gonna take that. And I forgot again to check the <laughs> that graphical glitch. Okay, let me just take a quick look if I can uh, disable this glitch somehow by tweaking some of the options. I hope I don't crash the emulator. Nothing I do actually does anything. have to like reload the game for some of this, I don't know. Is it because of resolution? Yeah, it's because of resolution. If I change resolution, those disappear. It's kind of weird. I guess it may just be a resolution scaling thing. Huh. Yeah, so if I uh, put native resolution, those glitches disappear, but I'm not sure how to go around it. Hmm. It just might not be a... there might not be a easy way to go around that glitch. It's barely noticeable anyway. I think I'll just ignore it. <laughs> it's not ideal, but... I don't want to spend too much time here. It's just those uh, purple lines on top and below, but whatever. Alright, let's protect uh, our people here. Oh god, I, if I protect Inolis, I will lose my mech and... I'll just protect my mech and I don't care about the noise right now. Because this is the only card that uh, would be able to be used. Wait, what? Why did I still lose it? Wait, what? Oh, because he still dealt 3 damage, yeah, of course. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. Never mind. <laughs> I, I misplayed that, but. The result was just Inolis taking a bit more damage than, than she should, but took like 4 more damage. That's probably not gonna matter, hopefully. Anyway. I should have equipped the rifle actually. So here we can actually attack two at the, uh, 3 at the same time, even. I think I'm gonna do that, even with a slash, so I can... Uh... So as you see here, if I actually use this, it will limit my partisan range to the square in front of me. While with the crans, it would have kept the original partisan range. Because of that, I'm just gonna use the slash one instead. Because the slash uh, action card has the same range as the partisan. 
But wait, I could use it with any other weapon. But I guess Partisan is still the one that deals more damage. Defense. Oh, man. That just blocks infinite damage from... <laughs> from and to native uh, creatures. Oh, okay, she killed it. Rip. Guess I'm gonna kill the other two, huh? Eight damage. Boom. Alright, alright, cool. We can keep those. I think I can equip one more gun. Uh, four... Five, six, seven. Yeah, I should be able to keep one more, I think. Unless there's a limit to the number of items as well. Which there might Defense. be. Yeah, let's block at that. It's just doing damage, but if I can block it, I will. Oh, I should have blocked that one instead. <laughs> Again, it's hard to make decisions sometimes unless you're paying a lot of attention. To the animations because the game doesn't show you who is attacking you uh, until they're actually attacking you. Oh man, that's not a very good roll. Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. Is any of these a high cost? Uh, cost? No, I need four cost. Um, I actually will uh, damage break with this one as well. Defense. As a reminder, to win, you need to kill one of the enemy story characters. Just killing one is enough, usually. Although rules may change sometimes, but by default, that that's it. Man, in all this is not using techniques at all. <laughs> You're a force. You should be using techniques. Oh, she actually froze the enemy, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna kill it anyway. <laughs> Six damage, yeah. Uh, kill her pretty strong, but she does have two mags equipped. Giving her two more attacks, so... Nice. Finally got some damage in on the one of the enemy story characters. I'm gonna keep the Gundam around because I can still equip that one. I believe there's also a limit to the number of items you can equip. But I'm guessing it goes at least up to 6, because I think I could have equipped the gun back there if I wanted. Man, another wolf in the same position. Defense. Oh. Again, I don't know who's attacking, so I don't know if I should block this or leave it for later. I'll block it, whatever. It's my partisan, it's kinda important. <laughs> oh, well I guess it would have been destroyed either way. Might as well be destroyed by the higher attack damage. Oh, hello. He's going in. <laughs> All by himself, and now it's Lura attacking me as well. Oh my god, she's gonna destroy my shot. Okay, this is uh, not going as well as I would want. Okay, they're done, they're done at least. If I also let Inalis die, sh we I will also came over, so let's not let that happen. Oh, I only have one weapon right now, that's kind of troubling, to be honest. This is a story, uh, story character slayer, so we have a story character right in front of us, let's, let's make use of it. I'm good where I am right now. I guess I'm gonna just try to kill break. Straight. <coughs> I 
Okay, Null is luring out all the defense cards. Nice. Oh, she's actually attacking the other story character. Okay, okay. You can uh, divide conquer, as they say. Yeah, deal a lot of damage right now. <coughs> and she has the gangster uh, gun pose. Oh my god, what the? Wait, 10 damage? So, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I don't know how, how much... why I, did I do so much damage. So it's 3 from Killery, 1 from Durandal, 2 more from the story character. 2 from the mags and 2 from the... Action card. Yeah, it, it's 10. Yeah, I didn't really <laughs> count for that much. Okay, cool. As you see, we just killed one and we won. But the rules could have been different. Sometimes the rules change and you need to kill the, the, the whole team. You know, it's actually took quite a lot of damage per turn. I actually didn't notice the, the rank I got. I didn't, wasn't paying much attention. I was still making calculations in my mind. Oh my god, SS card! <laughs> Gotta love the plus mod. Okay, rifle good, and here I am saying the rifle is good when I got so much better stuff. DB Saber, okay, might be good for Silver. Another Grants, there's something wrong here. <laughs> I'm getting too many Grants, but none of the other techniques. There definitely looks like something is wrong here. <laughs> um, <coughs> I guess I, I'm getting more grants because uh, you can only technically get three new cards per pack for some reason, <laughs> for some dumb reason. Since I already have grants, then uh, it's fine to get duplicates. I will start seeing more duplicates for the other cards now since I got them as new. Okay, so DP Saber, it goes well with the, the shield, which I don't have, so let's maybe just ignore it for now. Because otherwise it's kind of meh. If it's equipped with the shield, it gets 3 AP. It's really good, that's really really good, but maybe the shield is bad, I don't know, I'll need to check. So Sonic Knuckle Plus, I actually didn't, never got a single plus card in my entire... Uh, in my like, what, 200-300 hours playing this game in the past. Because they're either exclusive to online or they're very, very rare. Uh, this is so weird. Defense disabled. When attacking with only this card, the opponent becomes unable to use any defense action card. But if you, if you use any attack action card together with this card, then the opponent can defend. But this card has TP. But it, you cannot use attack with, with this card. That's so... Damn weird. <laughs> What's the point? I don't quite understand. You need to use some like action cards that make you uh, like use TP for a physical attacks or something. I don't remember any of them right now though. Oh well, that's, that's weird. Panzer Faust. So this is basically a good uh, ranger. Good ranger weapon. I think. Um, it's for Ranger or Humanoid. I think this is only for Androids though, unfortunately. I don't really have any Ranger Humanoids right now, I don't think. Humanoid is basically uh, saying Androids, but due to some events uh, in the lore of this game, they started calling them Humanoids instead. We'll get there at some point for sure. I guess I didn't get there in really anything that I can use. Oh well, maybe just a part for uh, Inalis and a rifle for Killery and Grants. That's pretty much it. No luck, hey? The site definitely said they would be there. This is such a bummer. And my mother would have been so happy to get one. Well, I'm sorry for taking up your time. Thank you for all your help, Monica. It's alright, it's alright. So by doing this quest, we basically locked ourselves in one of the two routes of the game. And we miss out on the other one, but it is what it is. The other one had less uh, cutscene story, story cutscene content, so that's why I made this choice. <laughs> Same dialogue as usual. 
So what's up, Pentaglass? What's going on? Nice work, Aika. You got in another mission from the government, okay? You shouldn't have much of a problem with this one. I'll let Karen fill you in on the details, okay? Gahaha. -ha. My stock's finally starting to rise, this is great. <laughs> okay. That's random. Everything's going according to my desire. Uh, okay, I mean, there's other concerns here right now, I think, than your stocks, but... Sure, oh, there's two quests, three quests. Oh, his stock might be his uh, own popularity, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's probably his popularity with the, with the government, I guess. Hello, Aika. Here are your mission details. We've received reports of a suspicious figure near Tanner's Sinus. And the government has sent us a request to investigate. As before, the Arcs may be planning to destroy something. Please take due care in your investigations. Alright. Oh, may not have mentioned this before, but in addition to using cars to carry out official missions, we've also been asked to search for a certain type of material. We've already gathered up all the info we have on this stuff, and we'll report it to the government shortly. The chief will be happy. This is a top secret issue, so make sure it stays that way. So yeah, so this is a hint that of something that will be relevant to the story later on. We've already gathered all, up all the info we have on this material and we'll report it to the government shortly. The ship will be happy. Yep, same. Same spiel. So Vivian over there will give us a card next time we talk to her because we did her side quest. So we'll get, we usually get the cards when we completed it successfully from the character that uh, gave us the side quest. I will leave that for tomorrow though, for now I'm just gonna... Before I forget to edit uh, a few decks, just to add the, the additional uh, techniques. In the regard, huh? Yeah, I guess just the, the, the third part. Uh, I guess we remove the bind. Maybe added uh, more defense cards actually. And remove the slashes. Yes, sounds about right. Okay, cool. And now I'll we'll also uh, edit her deck. I think to add. Uh, oh, DB Saber. And the Sonic Knuckles. To add one more rifle. And as a result, I'll remove something else. Um, I guess I'll remove this his card. I didn't even get it last time. Wait, maybe I'll just keep the assist cards and just remove... Because uh... I have 15 items. That, that's a lot. I don't need that many. Because usually you would just want to equip a few and then... If you keep getting more items after we, we, you have them equipped, they're not really going to help you, so... I feel like having a lower amount of items is actually better. <laughs> Guess I'll remove one handgun, sure. Le at some point I'll probably remove one mag as well. Yeah, let's go with that. I think I may also just change Kranz's deck. Oops, I don't know why I went into action. So this one benefits from cards that have like weird, uh, weird ranges. Guess let's give him, give him one more partisan. By weird ranges, I just mean like uh, non-standard ranges, like not just a square in front of you range. Uh, let's remove one shield here. Guess we can add one more attack. Oh, definitely want to add that for sure. We have 17 items. Let's remove at least three more. I guess Turandal. It doesn't really benefit his uh, his skill set. Even the gun that, well, more or less. Okay, move 
the shield, I guess. Maybe add one more of this. Yep, sounds correct to me. All right, change a few decks there. Preparing for tomorrow when I continue the the story. Yeah, so. We're still like getting acquainted with the arcs pretty much. Uh, we're starting to know a few more characters. Though we have six characters in our team right now, under my command, I believe we'll get we'll get like three or six more. We'll get them in batches of three, so it's either like three more or six more. Uh, it's six more, I'm pretty sure. I remember Orland, Realmitus. Wait. There's the gambling guy, I forgot his name. The <laughs> weird female cast. So at least four I remember. So there should be like two more I'm not remembering. Huh, who could they be? I'm impatient, let me just check in the list. Now I'm really curious to know who are the other two that I'm not remembering right now? No, I, gu I guess I need to go into the deck first. Or I can just... No, I go, I go into the deck. So Realmitos, Orland... Oh, it's Gwickild, I forgot about him. Oh, and Saligan, okay. Yes, of course. Gwickild is probably my least favorite, char least favorite character in the game. I will get to the reasoning when I get there. And Saligan is cool, actually, I just forgot about her. <laughs> Gwikul is... I'll, again, I'll go into more detail later, but she's, he's basically like the tank character. Like, <laughs> He basically is not supposed to deal, dam deal damage or take damage, so he's like a very annoying stall character. Anyway. This will be it for today, just a shorter stream than yesterday. I hope you enjoyed it it's still uh, if you watched it, either on Twitch or YouTube. And yeah, we'll continue tomorrow. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.